Out in that West Texas town of El Paso, a beautiful venue for a football game. A live look at the Sun Bowl as we are just about set to go in today's showdown. Time for ESPN's college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call. Brad, take it away. What's going on, guys? Charles Moosevich here with my Dynasty Series. This is the last week of the regular season, and we're playing the Rice Owls today. Last week, you know, we—I don't—I don't even know what to say about the game last week against Southern Miss. They just came out and roasted us. You know, we had some plays that could have happened but didn't happen. You know, Freytag couldn't catch a ball early in the game. Drops like three touchdown passes, but you know it's not all his fault. You know the defense didn't play very good or very well. I guess I should be saying proper English, proper English, man. All right, you know it just happens. Sometimes you just have a bad game. We shook it off, and we're feeling good coming out playing rice. This is a game that we have a very high shot at winning. So, you know we got to go out. LeMason got injured. He's been injured at the end of my last few games, and he's got to stop getting injured. He's got to play a full game, and I've got to have good games out of him, which is not what I'm getting every time. So anyway, like I said, this is the last regular season game of what was a very rough season. It was, you know, I can't even imagine, you know, it was extremely rough, actually. Any other dynasty that I've played, this has actually never happened to me. I always have winning seasons with my dynasties, and it this is the first time I've ever had a, a time where I've had a really difficult time doing anything. So, and I ended up putting this one on YouTube. Imagine that, you know. I have Texas A&M one at home on my coach's carousel that I got a new job there. And I've been undefeated for like three years, but you know what happens. And I like that. Looking at this, in the first quarter, Nico Carlson has three sacks. You know, I should just get in this game. I keep talking, and it's not doing me any good. So anyway, we're going to dive into it right there. Throwing the ball out of bounds, being underneath pressure. we got going to punt this. 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Rice is up 7-0, to zero, and we're getting sacked again on the screen. Trying to set it, trying to set it up, excuse me, but it, it didn't happen. Trying it again, it was open. Overthrowing my man. All right, third and 21. Excellent, excellent job, offensive line. Pressure is all up on me. I don't, I don't know where he's throwing that ball, but it's incomplete. Fourth and twenty-one. We gotta punt that one away. Getting the ball back shortly. Got three seconds left in the first half, and Jeffrey getting met behind the line. He was back there before we even got the exchange. This is just this. My offensive line is to be embarrassed because I'm embarrassed for him. Third down and eleven. Dropping back. We need. No, it would be great to pick up the first down here. Under pressure, and we're sacked. Again. Nothing there. We got the ball back. It's still 7-0 ball game, but we're sacked again. That's the sixth time, and it's only the first half. My offensive line is getting totally and utterly embarrassed. I thought we'd come out and play better this week, but honestly, we're not playing any better than we did last week, and it's not, and it's definitely showing. I mean, the score should be worse than 14-0. Rice just scored, getting the ball back before the half. You know, I mean, <clears throat> usually you can blame it on my co on my coaching and play calling, but, I mean, I, I don't even know how I can. I mean, that one I can pin on myself. That interception, I don't know how I can pin these, like, nine sacks in the first half on me. I mean, they're in the backfield almost immediately after we snapped the ball. But there we go, Leslie getting in. Get, getting a catch. I don't know if that was the first catch of the game. It would seem like it. It's been a very long half. Ten seconds left in the first half. 17-0 to intercepted by Rice with five seconds left. I don't know how on earth did we get the ball back in the second quarter. Four seconds later, we get the ball back. All right. And we're going deep. We have a shot at scoring right before half. And Freytag gets it, makes the grab touchdown. And all of a sudden, we're only down by ten points. Going into the locker room with all kinds of momentum. That's not bad. That is not a bad deal. We're going deep. We got Les. No, that's Edwards on the outside. Edwards getting us inside the 10 yard line. First and goal. We can make this a three point ball game. And we did trail in the end zone for the touchdown 17 to 14. Man, it's been less than. You know, it's been fairly quickly. And we've 
they made a comeback, and we're going deep again to Freytag. Man, our receivers are having a heyday back in that back in that secondary. I'm loving it. I am loving throwing deep. All right, first and ten. We're dropping back. We got Freytag underneath for a gain of two, making it seven. Second down and eight with 2:22 left in the third quarter. We're dropping back on third down and eight, and we're going across the middle. Trail drops it. That would have been a touchdown. Would have given us the lead. We cannot have that happen. If you saw the little graphic there on the screen, we're 0 for 5 on third downs today. The Mason's scrambling, and he's getting the he's getting the first down. First down and 10 from the 20 yard line. Dropping back, looking under pressure, just throwing this one away. Smart move. So remember, we you know we can always you know we can always have another down, but if you're trying to force something, you throw a pick. It's that it's over. Sending my screen man in motion. I don't know why I did this, but it worked. Picking up the first down. First and goal. And look at those stats, though. His season stats are not bad. You know, you'd think that you'd have a that we'd have a better season than we had for the stats that he has, but Nick Mason's been playing pretty good this season. And you know, those games that we lost have been pretty close. And you see there, powered in the end zone for the touchdown. 21 to 17. Jeffrey is all kinds of pumped up picking up that touchdown. Rice would go downfield and score 24 to 21. And all of a sudden we're behind again and getting sacked again. That's. I mean, even in the second half, we haven't been sacked nearly as much as we were in the first half. But I mean, there are some schools that don't give up a sack at all during an entire game. And we're giving up like 11 in this game. That is a ridiculous amount of sacks. See their encroachment. We got, I don't even, I don't even see how to pronounce the name. It looks like HDDSW. I don't know how to say that name. They're down in 12. Dropping back. We've got to pick up this first down. Leslie making a fantastic catch. You see there, we got the first down. So first and 10. No, actually, we didn't get the first down. We would punt and get the ball back with a few minutes left in the third quarter. We are down by three on the goal line. Going deep, throwing it up there. It's going to be picked off. I mean, I always have to take a shot when I'm that deep in my in my territory. I've said it before. The defense likes to bring blitzes, so you got to get it out fast. But there's usually a guy open. Not there. Rice scores. We're down by 10. All of a sudden, the pressure is on. First, second down in inches, 250 left in the ball game. Had a man open, but we're sacked. All right, 230 left, third down and 10. Dropping back, we got to look, we're sacked again. Are you kidding me? Fourth down 17, we have to punt, got the ball back. With a minute left in the ball game, throwing this one up deep, and Freytag drops it. All right, second down and 10. We're going no huddle, just throwing it deep. And we've got 40 seconds left, and we're sacked again. And look at this. Seven sacks in a game. Setting a new record. That's embarrassing for my offensive line. That is 100% embarrassing, and I'm very disappointed. And Leslie there came up with a big catch, though, but I'm still... You know, the only thing I can even talk about is my line and how many times I've been sacked. That's another sack. This the clock was running out. You see it, it hits zeros. We're throwing it deep. Be incomplete. Third down, 21. Rice holds on, 31 to 21. Will be your final. It was a really rough year, extremely rough year for the UTEP Miners, picking up only two wins on the season. See, their play of the game was Nico Carlson's record-breaking sack. Actually, that wasn't. Oh yeah, it was. Anyway, you know, fans. You know, that guy's wearing a number two jersey. You know, he can wear a different jersey for every time we win. Single digits. Oh, well, coaches there, chicken hands in the middle of the field. Fairly disappointing season. But, you know, you can only get better. That's the that's the thing I'm hanging my hat on, you know. Anyway, guys, you'll see shortly that I get a job offer from Louisiana Tech to be their head coach. Now, I need you guys to let me know in the comment section below whether to go be the offensive coordinator still at UTEP or go to Louisiana Tech and be the head coach. I need to know by Monday so I can get my offseason video up and started. So let me know. Anyway, guys.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.